And this is what she said. Catherine Mulgrew, we have received documents from your birth daughter. And it is my pleasure to tell you that we believe we have a match. Oh, Father in heaven, oh, glory be to God, oh, forgive me my sins. Knock, knock. Kate, it's time. Make up. Having the receiver, I said in a tone so contained, so utterly foreign to my own, that I knew I had fashioned it to save my life. Miss Lowry, please hang on for exactly one moment. Will you do that for me? Knock, knock. Yes, of course, Anne Lowry said. Covering the receiver with my hand, I wrenched open the door, and grasping the collar of the second AD, Mike Demerit, I pulled him to me and whispered with a ferocity unknown to past whisperers. Now listen to me, Mike, and listen carefully. I need to take this phone call, and it may take 15 minutes, it may take longer, but I am not to be disturbed while this door is closed. Do you understand? Tell them to start on someone else. Tell them it's urgent. And tell them that if I am disturbed before I open this door myself, I will leave this lot and not come back and tell them that I need it. Do you understand? Poor Mike Demerit. <laughs> so well intentioned, so professional, so kind, didn't know what to do with himself, and simply muttered, Yes, Kate, okay, okay. I closed the door and locked it, brought the phone to my mouth, and said, Miss Lowry, forgive the interruption. I'm at work. Yes, Miss Mulgrew, Anne broke in. We know you're at work, but we felt it was important to share this with you as soon as possible. 